all right so i was actually um i was just scrolling through pinterest right if you do know pinterest then just check my channel i have a video um specifically on pinterest because it's a very powerful um place okay especially as a graphic designer so i was here yeah, i was just scrolling around and then i came across this design and then this effect that was done here by this particular designer i just feel like i should show you how to do it yeah so i want to show you how to create something like this on pixel app right so quickly first of all let me just download it now don't forget this is the designer so i'm not claiming to be the original designer of this artwork i am just trying to show you i want to teach you i want to guide you on how to um create that kind of effect so the next thing we are going to do now is to download this image so we need to get this image used in this and to get that should be quite easy so let me just use my lens flare and just try and scan this right let's see okay um this this is the guy here but then i want to get the exact image used well if we don't get the exact image used i think i'll just I think I would just sorry all right let's use this all right since I can't find the one that was used okay this is it yeah this is the image used so um quickly since I've gotten it now just click on it right I want to download the image I want to download the image so click on download download free download all right the image is downloading already so the next thing we are going to do now is to go to our pixel lab app so okay yeah so the next thing i want to do now is to um, import the image um yeah i want to first of all import this design yes so this is our reference then the next thing i want to do is to import the just downloaded image but first i would like to actually yeah this is yeah this is the image that is just downloaded so first of all i would like to um remove the background since this is not really a design design stuff so i'm not going to be editing it but then i would like to remove the background so i use photo room and remove my background so let's just do that quickly so click on start from photo answer this i have tutorials on how to remove background i think i think i have a tutorial on that on the channel on how to on how to remove um image background then i also have tutorials on how to edit your images so they are all on the channel so if you if you want to learn how to edit your images um before you work on them just check through some of my recent videos just check through my channel and then you will get the right tutorial on that so let me save this work save to gallery and then our image has been saved so now let's go and create the effect that we want to create so you can see that this effect is quite simple this is the guy and this is a question mark so i'll just hide this we might not even use it again so just click on text i want to create um my question mark now so delete this is question mark 
this is okay so now this question mark is small and i want to make it big so i'll first of all change the font i want to change the font of the question mark yeah i want to change the font to i think this is nice yeah i think this is nice let's change this color to black or green green since green is even what we are using so let me use green but then let me see i, I want to be sure of this size actually that's why i'm all right so this is actually nice like i love this size so we are good to go so this is green this is um this text so i'm first going to increase the size like this then i'll position to the center position to the center then i'll copy this i want to copy this hide it so that i'm only going to use this one All right now let me import the um image that i just removed the background so this is the image now there are two ways there is the short way and there is the fast way that you can also achieve that the long way is you directly maxing it right you can just decide to max it directly you can decide to just max create the maxing directly directly what that means is sorry what that means is that you can decide to create the max just or uh, max it to the shape of this um question mark but that is going to take us longer time so what we are going to do now is very simple click on shape reduce this in fact move this up just drag this up then mark it now you need to merge this shape and this question mark so it's quite simple click on this click on this click on merge and merge them together all right so we've been able to merge them together more like i've been able to convert the text to a shape now this question mark has become a shape all right now let me position it to the center now this is it the next thing i'm going to do now is to place my guy here the way i want it to be the way i want it to show right inside the question mark inside the shape so i'm just going to hide this all right but first of all i'm going to um leave it this way then i'm going to hide this right then i'm going to i want to create um, a gradient because if you see from this um original one you can see that there's more like a gradient a green green gradient here you can see it here so that is what i'm trying to create so more like to cover up for the yeah so click on gradients click on gradients then click on this click on plus click on this gradient um template then i want to pick this green color let me pick a green color from his shirt yeah let me pick a green color from his shirt click on ok and then we have this right so we have this already this okay so we have this but then i want to be sure that i'm still doing the right thing <laughs> yeah so all right so we are good we are good we're actually cool we're actually doing the right thing so this is it then let me just edit this let me edit it a bit yeah this click on this and move this here a bit all right so this is what i'm looking for okay now the next thing i want to do is to merge these two i want to merge these two click on this and merge them together all right so i've been able to achieve this now i'm going to click on this click on transparent and then i'm going to save this as image without background so i'm going to save to gallery 
while ensuring that the background is transparent then the next thing i'm going to do is okay this is made already so i'm going to hide this this is the question mark right this is the question mark and also i'm going to save this transparent so i'm just going to save this as image too right so i'm also going to save that as image then go back i'm not going to hide this so the next thing i'm going to do now is to click on import and then i'm just going to i'm going to import this right mark it now don't adjust it from here don't adjust it from here don't adjust it from here just adjust it from relative size so and ensure that this is enabled don't disable this please right don't disable this just increase this right ensure that this is 100 and this is also 100 mark it and then you can lock it then the next thing we are going to do now is to ensure that this is um you are still clicking on that then scroll here go to texture look at texture this is texture so click on this texture click on this and then pick this image as texture right click on this ensure that you select it then mark it right so this is what we just achieved can you see very very amazing now mark it but then we are not done the next thing you are not going to do now is to bring in this one right you know you actually disabled it uh, yeah you made it um inv invisible so now you have to make it visible again now don't move it please don't move it don't move it at all the next thing you are going to do now is to go to mask look at mask click on mask and then enable it so want to max it out yeah that's what we want to do so click on out in sorry uh all right so click on mask enable it okay yeah this is what i was trying to achieve then click on out click on in rather then you can now adjust adjust your mask yeah you can adjust your mask okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to move this here and ensure that this is also well placed well placed then this part too move this up move this up move this up on see this completely can you see it so yeah the next thing i want to do now is to let me add a node so i want to add a node so that to make the adjustment easier so click on this so look at i just added a node i'm just going to move this here and does that about that very simple now mark it and then we've been able to form this but then we are not done we are not done because this is what we are trying to there's not supposed to be anything here can you see there's not supposed to be anything here so um click on max we need to adjust our mask click on this and then move this up can you see it please ensure that this is not tampering with this air so i need to move it back then move this up mark it and then we've been able to create our effect now this looks tiny means it looks like this is small it's simply because of the way i adjusted my image before i maxed it so if you let me click on transparent now you can see that this is not having any background can you see it this is not having any background so you can decide to merge them together too you can decide to merge this and this together and then you cannot you cannot use it for your own design the way the guy did is so you can change the color to white or whatever color i think i love this color yeah it blends so well with this green yeah so then you can now increase the size look at it you can adjust it to whichever way you want it um just like the guy where is the guy's image all right so this is the original design from the guy this is the one i just did so you can always adjust it to your text like it depends on what you want so if i wanted if i wanted to achieve exactly something like this now i could have made this guy just bigger 
right so that is that about that and that is simply how to create this kind of is it pop-up or what do we call it i think yeah mask yeah masking yeah this is called masking so that is how to create this kind of masking i believe you've learned something from this video if you got value let me know in the comment section like if this video really helped you let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i will definitely see you in the next